What's up guys, it's Renell. welcome to the video, and today I'm making my beat for the Cymatics Black Friday V Contest. Let's get into it. So on the left side of my screen is the Black Friday 2020 teaser pack, and I will leave a link in the description so you can download it and also participate in the contest as well. Alright, so this is the sample I'm going to be using, and I'm going to flip it by using Fruity Slicer. So we're going to go into Plugin Database under Generators and Drum, and right here is Fruity Slicer, uh, like that. Alright, so in Fruity Slicer, all we have to do is go back to where the sample is, and then uh, Nostalgic, this one, and all you have to do is just drag it into here. Uh, this little square and then once you're in here you're going to click this little knife thing and then slice it to the beat and so now if we click into our piano roll we can see that all the notes are actually split up already and there's also a little clicking sound so i'm just going to get rid of that by increasing the attack and delay all right so now that it's in our piano roll i'm gonna chop up all of these and like rearrange them to make a new pattern because I want to add my own vocal chops, I'm not going to be using the first part of the sample. So basically, I'm just going to go to bar 9, where it all cuts off, and just delete all of these. Uh, Control A, select everything. All right, so that's the sample we're going to be using for the melody, and I'm just going to add some quick effects on it. All right, so now I'm going to figure out some chords to go with it and uh, add some other sounds to go with it. Alright, so I have my chords recorded and I'm just going to uh, control A to select everything and then all S to strum everything. Alright, so this is going to be the melody for like a little like a uh, like a mellow part and I'm going to make a little more a uh, hype part right now. And I might do that by creating a new pattern with Fruity Slicer. Okay, so I know the chords F major, G major, and A minor are used in this sample. Um, but instead of playing them in uh, like how I played it in the first part. I'm going to try switching it up to doing an A, F, and G, so it'll be like this. Something like that, and let's see how it goes. Okay, so beats 33 through 36 is the F major, uh, 37 to 40 is the A minor, and 41 to 48 is the G major, so I'm just going to rearrange these and try to find something cool. Actually, that sounds actually really cool. I might just scrap the 
double uh, bar A major A, A minor I had. so it is 1 30 right now where i am so i am just gonna export all the sounds and i'll come back to another time to mix it together and add some drums okay so just as a review before i go sleep i am just gonna play like the mellow section and then the hype section I might get rid of the ukulele. I'm not sure if it really fits or if it just sounds good. Um, but yeah, I'll decide that tomorrow. And this is the hype part. It's freaking fire, dude. Also, I noticed this when um, I was trying to figure out the chords. The sample actually says F minor, but it was actually an A minor or C major. So, cymatics, I think you need to learn how to identify keys. What's up, guys? It's day two. Let's finish the beat. All right, so I have all of the tracks imported, and now I'm just going to see if I want to pitch anything up or down, and then I'll add some drums. Okay, so I like it at plus one semitones, so I'm just going to change that for all of the tracks. Okay, so I think I'm just going to take out this uh, ukulele, because this little uh, flute thing I put also goes really well with it. So yeah, I'm just going to use the flute in place of the uh, ukulele. Okay, so I think this is going to be the drum loop for the mellow part, and now let's do the drum loop for the hype part. Okay, so at the top of my screen, I'm just going to add a pattern, and I'm going to call this hype drums. And now let's make a pattern with the hype drums. <laughs> That's going to be pretty much it for the drums, now let's mix and arrange. Okay, so I forgot to add a bass for the mellow section, so let's go do that real quick.
Okay, so right now I have all of the tracks uh, stemmed out, and now let's arrange it. I'm also going to be throwing in other effects from the Black Friday uh, sample kit, which will be... Oh, not that one. Which will be under Shimmer FX. I'll be using these inside of the beat. Okay, so with any sample I flip, I always like putting the original in the beginning just to show like what I what I did to it. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to use for the intro. I'm actually going to pitch the original sample up one uh, semitone just so that it's uh, the same as the sample flip. To transition the sections better, I'm going to add a low-pass filter, so uh, the way I'm going to do it is just adding an EQ and taking out like a lot of the lows, a lot of the highs actually. And then on the mix level, we're going to create an automation clip. And then where it transitions, I'm just going to bring it up and back down. So. the transition right there instead let's do it Okay, so for this last drop, I want to do a combination of like all of the drums. So let's see where I get with that. I need to change this baseline, so I'm just going to make a new baseline real quick. So this one is just F, F, A, A. 
or is it G? Oh, it's a G sharp. Gotcha. Okay, I'm actually going to change it this last part real quick. Uh, I'm just going to have it be like the mellow section for bars 93 to uh, 101. And then from 101 to 109, it'll be the hype section. So let's go do that real quick. All right, so I just finished arranging it out and here's the beat. Okay, so I just did the outro, so if it looks different uh, in the outro than it does now, then that's why. But I'm going to rearrange this last section. I feel like it would hit harder if I did the mellow section from 93 to 109, and then from 109 to 125, the hype section. So I'm going to just do that real quick. Alright, and now let's hear my Cymatics Black Friday Beat Contest beat. Alright, so I think that does it for the beat. I did a lot because this is my first Cymatics beat contest. I entered in the Kyle Beats one uh, earlier in quarantine, but uh, this one I feel like I put a lot more time into it and uh, I think it turned out great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.